Hi everyone, my name is Rico Richardson and welcome back to my channel. This channel is all about helping you guys edit your photos and your videos professionally but for free. And in this episode I'm going to teach you how to create a multicam sequence in DaVinci. Let's go! Right, so here's a video that I'm about to edit. I've shot this one before this video. Sometimes I shoot several videos on the same night or on the same day. And I figured why not show you the process behind it. So I'm going to make a separate video on my workflow, but right now I'm going to show you the multicam sequence. I'm going to select both clips, which I've already imported into DaVinci. I'm going to hit the right mouse button and I'm going to hit create new multicam clip using selected clips. That will give me this prompt menu and it will give me some options. What I like to do is I like to call this V1, which stands for version one, because sometimes I make several versions and that way I know which segment is what. I'm going to keep the frame rate on 25 because that's what this has been shot in. I'm going to change the angle sync from in to sound. Sometimes when you've got some productions, they've got time codes and I don't have the time code method, so I'm going to use sound. So it's going to look at the waveforms of both audio clips. So the audio clip from my screen recording in OBS and the audio clip from my Panasonic GH5. And that is going to match it to make sure that it runs smoothly. And then you have this option to move the clips to an original clips bin. I'll keep that on so you will see what will happen. I'm going to hit create. It's going to analyze the content and there you have it. So we've got a folder with the original clips and we've got the V1 multicam sequence. I'm going to drag that on the timeline. And I've got two screens over here. If you don't, you probably have this inspector tab on which means that there's not room for two screens. So just make sure you deselect that and then you've got two screens. And then there's this symbol down here, which you need to change from source to multicam. And that will show you both camera angles. So let me move this forward in time a little bit. And I'm going to go back. There we go, I'm going to cut this. So I want the clip to start with this. But right now I can't select this because I've already cut some and the angle one is selected. So I'm going to click on here and I'm going to do that with the right mouse button. I'm going to switch this multicam clip angle from angle one to angle two because angle two is my camera. And please keep in mind that what the audience is going to see is on the right screen and what you are doing is on the left screen. So right now I've changed it to angle number two, but the audio is still set to angle number one. You can change that as well. You can change that to angle two. But in this case, the audio is from the camera itself, which doesn't sound good. Now let's say you want to cut this clip. So I'm going to move forward and let's say right around here, I want to move to the other angle. There's three options that you have. The first one is that only the clip will be cut. So if I click this window right now, a cut has been made and it switched to angle one. If, let me undo that by hitting Ctrl Z. If I click the middle symbol and I do the same thing, both are being cut. So the audio is being cut and the clip is being cut and it changes audio as well. And the third one is just the audio. So if I'm going to change, it's going to change from angle one to angle two. So let me undo that again by hitting Ctrl Z. And that's usually how I just let everything run. I'm going to minimize the sound. So this is how I just let things run and then I look and then as soon, so right around here is my intro and boom, I'm going to change to the screen. So I'm going to select this one because I don't want the audio to be changed because I want to keep the audio from OBS, which is from my microphone, my Yeti microphone. I'm going to click that and now it has changed to this angle. And if you go back on the timeline and I let it play, you will see that we're going to switch from my face, boom to the computer. So that's one way you can work on a multi-cam sequence and how you can create it. There's one more thing I want to show you. So a while ago, I had a phone clip that I wanted to place over the screen. So right now I'm just going to undo everything. So I just wanted the phone to be overlaid over here, but I had to run them as a multi-cam because I needed to make sure that everything from the phone was in sync with what I was saying. 
Now let's say you want to change something manually or you want to just delete a part of a clip because you don't really need it. If you hit the right mouse button on this clip, you have the ability when it's a multicam sequence to select open in timeline. And that opens up the clip entirely, which allows you to work on the clips individually. So let's say I just want to cut a part out. I can do so. And there you go. And now the phone is no longer over the screen, for instance. And if you want to go back to the previous timeline, you need to click here, timeline one. And there you go. You're back in this timeline. And the great thing about this is that all the changes you've made in the other screen by selecting open in timeline, all those changes. So if you make separate cuts and stuff, they are still being saved over here, but they show as one clip on a timeline, which makes it very great to work with. And that's how you can create a multicam sequence and work on it. If you've got any questions about it, please let me know in the comment section down below. And that's it for this week. If you want to see more of me, please click that playlist over there. And if you haven't subscribed already, you can do so by clicking that button over there. For this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. And until next time, doei!